Let's see. Aha, we're live. Hello everybody, my name is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I'm going to share with you things that have sold that are going to equal about $500, maybe a little bit more, um, that I have sold recently on eBay and a couple sales on Etsy as well because I do cross post items that I can. And um, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret and I buy things at garage sales, in estate sales and thrift stores and I flip them on eBay to help support my family and that is what I'm going to share with you guys today. So if you are watching um, I am live, so say hey over in the chat and as questions pop up, if they pertain to what we're talking about, I'll answer them. And if they're general questions, I'm going to save them till the end, but I appreciate you coming. And if you're watching later and you've got a question, then make sure you leave it in the comment section down below because I am compiling them to create a, another video of viewer questions because I've been getting a lot of really good questions and things that I need to update as far as videos and stuff because that's just life. Okay, so the types of things that you'll see here today are not, I know for a long time I did just sell jewelry for a few years there, I really scaled back, but in today's video there's going to be more than just jewelry, so if you're like, oh I don't want to see a bunch of jewelry sales, there's more to it than jewelry, so you'll see what all else has sold as well. So here we go. Let me flip over so I can share with you guys some of the things that sold. You might remember this was something that I just bought recently and it actually sold the night I listed it. So um, this is a vintage Boy Scout knife and what I'm going to share with you on how I do my listings as we go along is I write an inventory note in my listings so that I'll remember what I bought it for. I used to keep a big spreadsheet my secret inventory notes okay um, and the price I paid for it was about a dollar it may have been a little bit less it was sitting at the counter at this estate sale when I was checking out and I just saw it and said is anybody getting that and the lady said oh somebody changed their mind are you interested yes I am so I was kind of dubious um, because it is in rough rough shape as you can see and the reason I'm sharing this is because I honestly was like oh is anybody gonna buy this is anybody gonna buy it for the price that I'm asking for it I know I haven't told you what, what I sold it for yet but just to kind of let you know that there are collectors for things everywhere and honestly the person that that bought this might the person that bought it I think actually sells knives has a, st a store on Etsy that that flips knives as well and um, they may clean it up and flip it for twice what they bought it from me for that is fine by me because it is not my cup of tea to I don't do a lot of res restoration of stuff so I was happy to get the price that I got for it so let me share it with you what that is hi in the chat everybody thank you so much for coming and now I just realized I've lost my other window okay let me know if the volume sounds okay too I'm using my my new mic and I'm picking up the sounds from my computer as well um, so hopefully you can hear it okay but this knife ended up selling for hang on I had it already of course this always happens forty five dollars and that was the asking price for it um, and and like I said I I put it up and I did see other knives that were a lot more than this but they were in such good condition they were really old they were older Boy Scout knives. They had this uh, leather punch, and they had this um, can opener, bottle opener, all this other stuff. I mean, that were in the hundreds, right, of dollar or hundred, hundred something dollars. But I figured because of the 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 condition of mine was so bad that I put it at forty five dollars, just thinking, oh, okay, maybe that'd be a good price. Honestly, I couldn't even get the can opener out, so I, I made sure to put that. You know, bottle opener wouldn't come out. So, um, <laughs> oh. Y'all let me know if something happens. I don't see any of, of uh, my friends that are admins in the chat. Um, so if something goes awry while well, I'm not looking, then like all caps notify me so I can come over and take care of business. Yeah, I put my business socks on. Um, okay. <laughs> anyway, so this sold for $45 and I bought it for a dollar. So that's a good $40 profit right there. And the things that I sold, I think I mentioned this too, all of this stuff is about it equals out to about $500. So this was a, a good chunk of that change right there. Okay, so the next thing, and I did have this on eBay as well, but it sold, like I said, that night on on Etsy. So, hello in the chat. Thank you for coming, everybody. Okay, next up, um, I just shared this one in a shipping video that I did. I was shipping smalls, and I think I have a couple other things I need to ship. Anyway, um, 
I've had this for a long time, so I'm not even sure I have an inventory note on it. No, I don't. Um, but this is something I got in a lot. I bought a lot of tie tacks, like men's accessories type stuff. So it was in that lot that I bought quite a while ago. So I was pretty happy to see this sell. And this item ended up selling. Let me jump back over here. Um, Etsy has changed the way they do things, kind of on the seller dashboard side. Oh boy, it's going to load. Um, but I think, oh, here it is. This, hang on. You know when you get everything all set up and then just everything goes awry. This sold for $11.99. So for something I got in a lot, I mean, if I rounded up, maybe I spent 50 cents to a dollar on it. Probably not even that much. Um, so as it's, as I said, it sold for about $12. And so that gives me probably about, after fees and stuff, about a $9 profit. So for something that small, that's easy to store and ship, I'm pretty happy to have made that on this item. So, uh, hello Rhonda Ringer in the chat. <laughs> um, when I went through and I averaged out kind of all my sales, I like cut across all the things, my average sale per item was about $25 per item. So some of the items sold for much, much higher. Some of the items sold for a lot lower. Okay, so that's this one, but still, I'm happy with that. Oh, uh, I lost my place. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Next up, oh my gosh, these postcards I have had. I bought this lot of postcards. You can see how bad my pictures are. What? I think I'm sitting in the back seat of my mom's van on a road trip. That's how long ago these pictures were taken. Um, because I think I've got like a box under, like that. that's my legs, my knees, and I've got this laid out on my lap in the back of my mom's van on a road trip that we're taking. That's how long ago these have been listed. Um, and back when e Etsy only allowed you to do five pictures and not ten, and look at how blurry these are. Horrible, horrible. Okay, but they finally sold. Um, this lot, I actually, the some of the, the postcards from this lot, I bought a whole bag at a garage sale when I early on started reselling, and it was like $10, but there were like 60 or more postcards in this bag a lot of them sold really quickly so I'm just happy that they finally sold so I mean probably with um, how many times this has been relisted that's another thing to consider a lot on Etsy it's like every three three months four months something like that that it gets relisted for 20 cents that's not too bad um, but they sold for $30 so Chances are likely that my profit on these would end up, if I can, if I took out the time I've had them listed, might be about twenty dollars. Because honestly, relisting on Etsy is not that expensive. So that's cool, man. They went out today, and I'm happy that they did. Okay, I'm looking in the chat, make sure I don't miss any questions. Um, oh, good. I'm glad Jennifer says that jewelry videos have helped her a lot. I'm so glad to hear that. And da da da. I don't see any question questions, but hello everybody um, for, thanks for coming in. Okay, we've got one more sale on Etsy that I wanted to share with you guys. And this is something else I just got recently. Um, I priced it higher than probably the other ones that were up there that were similar. And mine's in pretty rough shape as you can see. Um, and I priced it a little bit higher, honestly, because I liked it so much, I would have rather kept it than sold it for anything cheaper. Do you have any items like that? Let me know in the comments or if you're watching later let me know in the in the in the chat in the comments if you're watching um what is something that you've got that you're like i'm pricing this high because if it doesn't sell that's fine i'll just keep it this was one i don't i just loved it um so i ended up paying let's look at my inventory note down here and i got this at an estate sale too oh i spent four dollars on this i paid up for it because i really really liked it and for me that is paying up because i like to get things cheap <laughs> really really cheap um, and I sold this for, where is it, $35. I think there were other ones up there, maybe in the $15 to $20 range, but like I say, I liked it so much that I went ahead and listed it for $35. And that's what it got. And it wasn't up for, for long either. Um, so I just listed this on July 16th. So not too long. Uh, in the chat, let's see. Hazel says, to list it and forget it, but for how long? Usually I just leave it, honestly. Um, except when I was moving. Then I decided 
if it was big and bulky and it had been up there for a while and it had low ROI return on investment, then it was going to get redonated, uh, but only because I didn't want to move it. So usually, especially something like this, because this was a small little trinket box, I just leave it. And postcards took up no space. I was like, do I even know where they are? <laughs> but I did. Good job. <laughs> okay. Um, so Hazel saying, I had a fossil purse way overpriced because I didn't care if it sold and somebody else saw what you saw and bought it 150 bucks. Yeah, totally. You just, you never know, right? That's my thing with, with I talk about how I price high and some people give me guff about it. Some old goat geezers give me guff about it. I don't know if geezers or not, but but let me get on my soapbox. But that's my, my strategy is I don't mind pricing things higher because somebody else is going to see that item, especially if there's not a lot of them out there that are like that. And they'll see that item and, and they'll be like, I know there's like five, ten other green dangly earrings, but there's something about those ones that I have to have. And they'll buy it, right? So even if it's ten dollars more than all the rest, you know, it's like the style or the color or something that they just that's it. That's what I'm looking for. And they have to have it, you know? <laughs> Welcome to the American dream. Alright, moving on. Okay, so this is another item that I um, bought recently. Let's see. I'm going to come back Blue Horizon to your jewelry quest questions in a little bit. I have those um, and I'll, I'll tackle that in a second. Okay, let me make sure I've got this where it's not. Hang on. Zoom. Let me zoom it in a little bit better for you. I feel like eBay did something different with their page layout. There's way more like ad stuff at the top. Okay, so some of these I took a best offer on. Let me get to the right page over here because it is showing you the price I listed it at, but that's not the price it sold for. So this was an upcycled um, bag. This one I got at a garage sale. Let's come over to my descriptions. Um, I spent $2 on it, just listed it the 29th of July. And this one ended up, I took a best offer of $35 on this. I love the best offer feature. And um, so yeah, that was a pretty good profit on that, having bought it for two bucks. I got this in like a little, like a coin purse or cosmetics bag from the same garage sale. Um, yeah, and, and I only, I didn't, I think I saw this one on Poshmark that had sold for maybe $35. And that's why I went ahead and, and priced it at $42 because I couldn't find another one just like mine. And the one I did find sold for $35. So I was like, eh, okay, let's just... Um, but I, again, I took that best offer. I was happy to do it. Okay, so next item. This one, you might recognize this from a previous sold video. Um, and this is a bracelet that I, I have sold before and it was returned because it was a little smaller on the wrist than uh, the buyer liked. She didn't have anything bad to say about the experience, but just it didn't work out, which is totally fine. And so I just relisted it and now I've got to ship it out. I think it's, this is one that just sold, so I have to go ship it. Um, but I took a best offer $40 on it. So it was, again, Pretty happy to do that, and that was, that came in that five hundred dollar lot that I got. That um, about, uh, there was a member in our jewelry group that had um, gotten a whole lot of jewelry from her mother in law, and she was going to piece it out, and it wasn't. It was just becoming overwhelming, I think. So she just asked, you know, is anybody interested in buying the whole lot? I was. She's in the in the Austin area, and so I got all of it for five hundred bucks and easily made. The money back um, pretty quickly on just a few of the pieces because there was quite a bit of silver and um, turquoise and stuff like that in there. There's a lot of other stuff. Actually, I think I mention this every time I sell something from this lot. I have a whole tub full of necklaces I still have never shown y'all. I'll have to do a video on that. So forty dollars, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, like I say, at, at this point everything is just profit on the items that I have left from that. So it's easy for me to just take a take a um an offer okay this is another item that I just recently got and I was kind of wondering after I got it because I think this is like an Amway piece pardon me while I take a sip of my water um it was something I learned I didn't realize so this um artistry brand is an Amway I think it's Amway right um 
brand. But anyway, and I, I did it. I spent $5 on this necklace, which seems weird. But yeah, what I've spent five bucks on this. I wonder if that's a typo. I got to trust my inventory note that this is why we do the inventory note, Margaret, because you do typos or you just think, why would I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Still, I still am saying to myself, well, I don't know that I spent five dollars on this, but I'm going to go with it. OK, um, but I ended up taking an offer of fourteen fifty. So if my inventory note is correct, probably I just don't even see myself buying this for five bucks. But maybe I did. Maybe that here's the thing there may. I'm trying to remember because it was just recently. I wonder if there was just so many other things that I bought that I was willing to pay up because I got other things for a good price. That's probably what happened, knowing me. But anyway, sold it for $14.50, um, which doesn't make for a huge profit. Maybe $8 or so, 7 or $8. So, not too bad. But again, you know, once everything is averaged out, it all worked out. It was all profit anyway. So, okay, moving on. The next item, this is something else on eBay. That's, I know the first few up here are, are jewelry, but there is some other stuff that sold that's not. So um, I do still sell jewelry. Okay, then I need to click over here. I have some things. I paid and shipped. There we go. Um, I had gone to Houston, so I moved my shipping time, so I have a few days to get these out. Normally it's next day. So I've had this dichroic glass pendant for a while. Let's see what my inventory note. See, so long I don't have an inventory note on it. Um, but it's sold for 21 bucks. I mean, usually I'll just say probably about a dollar is what I got it for. Maybe more, maybe less. It may have come out of a jewelry jar. I can't remember. Um, but this ended up selling for the asking price of $21.99, which is pretty good. Which, you know, after fees and stuff is probably about 19 or so dollars in profit. And then this wallet, this is an Anne Klein wallet. This is one that I um, didn't list for a while because I thought about keeping it. I actually have a wallet, a pink wallet in my closet right now that I set aside because I, same deal, like I got it, I was gonna just keep it. And now I've decided, no, I like to pay my bills more than having a pink wallet. So <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sell it. All right, so this one, inventory note, $2. I picked this up at a garage sale. Uh, I was pretty happy about that. And there's that incline lion. If you just watched one of my jewelry videos lately, there were some earrings at Savers that were, had this lion. That's the lion. Anyway, so this one sold for 20 bucks. I took a best offer. Again, it's like I list high, and then when people send me a $20 offer on something I spent $2 on, I, I think about my electric bill, and I say yes. <laughs> uh, because it's hot, y'all. Okay. Then next up, this is something I recently listed as well. This came from the $500 um, dollar lot that I got. So pretty much, I mean, there was way more than 500 pieces of jewelry in there. So the things in there were less than a dollar a piece easily. And so this one, did I take an offer on that? It sold really fast too. So, you know, I think this is one that sold the day of. It makes me wonder if I didn't list it properly because it's a cloisonne, but it also has like these raised pieces my jewelry friends see how it's got these like little bits of raised kind of glass on them which is pretty cool but it sold really quick for twenty dollars so either way I was happy to get the twenty dollars I'll again point to my electric bill <laughs> um, so moving on uh, this is another piece that was in the five hundred dollar lot this is a, a Jasper ring and I never did I was gonna talk to you guys about a, um, a video talking about the different metaphysical stones whether you're into that or not there are people that are into that and so knowing that certain um, natural stones align with certain chakras can help sell the item so if somebody's looking for a piece of jewelry that has to uh, that aligns with the root chakra as opposed to the heart chakra or the whatever um, <laughs> then it, it might help to have that in your listing and I still have never like I said I was gonna make a video about that uh, my sister is getting more and more into that. So uh, let's see what my, this is actually just red jasper, y'all. Okay, so this red jasper ring, I took a, a best offer of $40 on, and it was in that $500 lot as well. And I, I just listed it recently. So I was pretty happy to get that, even though, as I said, I, I haven't listed for a lot higher. 
electric bill. So moving forward again. Oh, let me check the chat because I'm, I'm like rushing through. I'm not rushing through, but I'm like chugging along and um, make sure I'm not missing any questions or stuff about what we have. Um, instant. Yeah. Um, buy it now with instant. So Carl was saying, I seem to be in the minority, but I prefer buy it now with instant payment, less work, no payment issues. Yeah, I do. I mean, they have to, they do pay it. Love to do like, um, pay before. I don't know. Um, but I can set my best offer where it like automatically declines it. If it's below a certain amount, automatically accepts it. If it's above a certain amount and then I think I only have one item that somebody had to send an invoice on. So I've never really had a problem with people not paying immediately. But I get that. I guess some people have. I haven't. Okay. These are some earrings that I believe I got at a garage sale. I have had them up for a little while since January. Um, and I paid $3 for them. They're actually quite large. And they don't look as big as they are in this photograph. So spent three dollars on them. They sold for eighteen dollars. So that's a good ten plus dollar profit. Um, that's more than that. Maybe a twelve dollar profit on these earrings. So that's pretty good. And then <laughs> I like the side chat. I'm trying to stay focused though. I like diving in. Y'all know. Okay, this is something I've had forever. Because look, here's how long I've had it. I only have two pictures of it. Naughty, naughty. This is one that I need to use for what not to do in pictures. Um, I mean, they're cl it's close, but I don't have any like pictures of measurements or anything like that. I don't know what I was thinking. It's a long time ago, apparently. But I think I got this for like a quarter. I remember it being really cheap. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have an inventory note, but I remember it being really super cheap. I think I got it from like a local garage sale site or something like that. But anyway, this one finally sold for $15 on eBay, so I was happy to get that for $14.99. I rounded up to that penny. Sorry. All right, this is another one. This was in that $500 um, lot that I got as well, and this one sold pretty quickly as well. So I just listed it in June, so quick-ish, and it sold. I took a best offer of $30 as well on this ring. Then, I know I feel like we're talking about a lot of jewelry here. Here we go. Here's this mug. Um, I just got this mug recently too. So those of you that remember me um, talking about mugs and the haul and all that, this is a mug. This is another one that I ended up listing it for higher than the others in this same by the same company, the Cypress Home, um, because one there weren't I couldn't find another one just like it with the fish and the Bible quote and all of that. So I decided, and it had the lid. This is another thing like the whoa hi how you doing right in my face huh the uh lid on this this is like a travel mug lid i saw that the lid was selling by itself for i don't know six or eight bucks so that was another selling factor for me uh, as far as price wise so it sold for that 32.99 and i think i got it at saver oh no i got it must have got it at a garage oh yeah garage sale 50 cents 50p stands for 50 cents in my in my life yes mug life um I, I have just a couple mugs. Y'all know I used to sell so many mugs before I moved. That was one of the things that ended up going because I didn't want to have to pack those bad boys up and move them. Um, but I'm starting again reselling mugs. And I love that, right? 50 cents into $33. I'll take it. Okay, then next. <laughs> yeah, I love the mug sales too. Uh, okay, so next up, and I have a video. I just, I went and w did some more shooting at the thrift store, looking through all the mugs and showing which ones I picked up. I have fun doing that as well, because it's almost like you get to live vicariously, like, ooh, what's next, you know? Those are fun, I think. All right, Nerf gun. <sighs> I, didn't, I didn't get as much as I originally listed this for. I probably could have waited, because I've dropped the price on this as well. I think I originally had this listed for 75 bucks this Nerf Vulcan, and it's the see-through one, and we did a video for it. I, I just showed how to make the video, so, you know, showing that it works and showing all the, the, the doodads on it. Anyway, um, but good golly, was this a 
was this this the shipping on this gave me the business okay going from shipping jewelry and smalls for the longest time I've sold big stuff before don't get me wrong but it's been a while and so like when I sold here's a pro tip get the box before you list the item this is what I've learned with the Star Wars stuff I have store some more Star Wars stuff I haven't listed yet because I don't have a box for it so I didn't have a box for this so I put out an APB on the old <laughs> neighborhood site I'm looking for a box anybody got a box of this dimension and sure enough it didn't take but a day somebody had a box um, in my neighborhood that they had gotten something in and so this sold for forty seven dollars wait yeah I took a best offer of forty seven dollars oh that shipping <laughs> it was something else but it made it safe and I've got my review and, and it's all good um, anyway I'll have to come back and let me check the chat real fast before I move on. And I have, um, ah, oh, Carl says, I stopped looking at those guns. They never have the ammo clips. I got this one. You know what? This is my son. My my son, Michael, and I had gone out garage selling while my other, um, the others were camping. And it was a giant tub. I think I did a video. I did a haul, just a Nerf haul from that. And my son convinced me I needed to buy this giant tub of Nerf. It was 60 bucks for the whole tub. Did I put that in my inventory note? I'm just getting off a little bit. I don't think I did. But anyway, I know what I, I know because it was huge. Um, so yeah, I was like, okay, you know, I'll let y'all pick out some. And we, so I have another one listed that's not, that's not clear. And then I have another one that my kids wanted, but they've decided they want to sell theirs because this thing is heavy. Like they can't tote this thing around. So then let's move on to the next item that we've got. So that was still a good sale. Finally got one of those Star Wars <laughs> Star Wars uh, critters sold. It's not really a critter, but this uh, ATST sold. And I've got, you know, some of the other items up there, but not all of them. I'm still working on those. I don't know why. I'm just, I think because I know Star Wars people are very particular about their stuff. So I want to make sure that I've got everything I need to have in there. So um, this ended up selling, and this was not a huge item, you know, it sold for $22. And you know, like so big, you know, 14 inches maybe or something like that. So that was that, and he, I got him with a whole bunch of other Star Wars stuff for, I mean, it was almost nothing, because I got that, a bunch of G.I. Joe stuff, I mean, all of this stuff at this garage sale before we moved, so I, this is one thing I did carry along with me when we moved, um, that was, that was an amazing, amazing sale. Okay, hats. So hats are something else I'm getting back into, because they're cheap to pick up usually, and they can make a good profit, and I got this hat and I hadn't looked at it super close. You know, sometimes garages are dusty, dirty, and dark, and you can't really see what you're looking at. And I was like, okay, what, what did I spend on it? 50 cents. 50 cents for an Apple, you know, embroidered Apple logo hat. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Then I got home and started, you know, you get the bright lights on it and you got to take that picture and you start seeing these nasty orange sweat stains. And so honestly, when I started listing this, I almost didn't list it. I was like, this thing is nasty. I'm going to make sure I get all those sweat stains in there. It looked like it had been cleaned, though. I mean, it was like, it was stained like that, but it was not, you know, it didn't stink or anything. So this one ended up selling for uh, $15. But again, yeah, I almost did not go ahead with this one because it was, that just goes to show you, everything sells. <laughs> Anything will sell. Um, yeah. Okay, so this hat, so mugs and hats are on my radar because they're usually pretty cheap and they can flip for a good profit. So we're back, we're back in business, baby. All right, this is something else I got. I got this. Remember those three clothes a butterfly that I had that I picked up and I sold them all three to one person and they made a really good profit. I got this at the same time um, as that. So this I bought for a buck fifty <clears throat> at an estate sale. <clears throat> Pardon me. My coffee gives me, this is not coffee, it's water, but I've been getting reflex with the coffee. <coughs> Pardon. Okay. So, I ended up selling this. Did I take an offer? Yeah, I, did, I ended up taking an offer of $9 on this. I mean, it's quite a bit less than what I had it up there for, but I figured I was okay with that. So, still about, you know, probably about a $5 profit. So, not too, not too bad. 
Um, and this is a Kate Spade wristlet that was another one I, I almost kept, but then I realized I don't like wristlets. <laughs> I just like the color. And I picked this up. Look, I don't have an inventory note there. I have no idea what I picked this up for. I know it was at a garage sale, so we'll just have to guesstimate on that. Um, but I ended up taking an offer of $19.25. I think this is one that they sent me like a $17 offer. And so I offered back $19.25. Um, and I do that because if I just did 19 or 20, you know, it's just sort of like off the cuff. But when I did the $19.25, I feel like it's going to look like I put some thought into it. <laughs> so that's that. Um, looking in there. Okay. All right. Um, so one more, and this is the big boy. <laughs> this is one um, that sold. This is a Stuart and I, and I think this was in the $500 lot as well. Let's see. Yeah, this was in the $500 lot. And this, and this, this actual bracelet still sells. Like they had their website, Stuart and I's website is still up. You can buy jewelry. You can buy this exact bracelet. But I think it's like 200 and something dollars, like $215. It's a sterling silver charm bracelet. Charm bracelets are big, y'all, okay? And it's got, you know, dogwoods and pine cones and feathers and leaves and stuff on it. Um, so again, it was probably 50 cents to a dollar because it was in that $500 lot. And I did take an offer of $120 on this item. So pretty happy that we sold that one for 120 bucks. That's like a fourth of my electric bill this month. So <laughs> keep it coming. I need to give me a list. I need to be listing is actually what I should be doing. Okay. So that is, um, those are the things that I sold for about 500 bucks, um, a little bit more than $500. And let me go through the chat and see if we've got any other questions, friends, um, saying, Hey, and I never did check and see how many friends do we have watching? I don't even know. And then go um, go over there and leave me a, a thumbs up. But let me come over here and look at the chat. And y'all can look at my messy room. It's a hot mess. This is homeschool stuff. That is trinkets. Whatever. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Karen is saying that um, journal makers love old pictures. Yes, definitely. And okay. Um, Hazel says Etsy prices can be so much higher than anywhere else. Totally. Um, this is true. And Linda's asking, do I clean my jewelry before listing? I don't, not usually if it feels disgusting, like if it's come out of a jewelry jar or something like that and it feels gross to the touch, you know, I might do a damp cloth or something like that, depending on what it is. And then if it's silver, um, only if it's like disgusting tarnish, like black and gross, I might buff it up a little bit just to kind of see the details of the piece a little better. But some people really like the tarnish, so I don't shine things up a whole lot. Um, I'm trying to think of something I might have done it to. I think I've got a James Avery ring. Actually, I haven't even opened that lot yet. I got it from a, a Shop Goodwill lot. I have like three boxes over here of Shop Goodwill thread up. I have a thread up box downstairs that I need to open. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> um, I forget where I was going with that. Oh yeah, there's a James Avery ring in there that I probably will polish because a lot of people that wear James Avery like that shine. So that's one I'll probably polish. Uh, from my experience, if you've got a different take on that, let me know for sure. Let's see talking about stashes very very vixen saying I love to see the jewelry miss the unboxings yeah I'm gonna definitely I have I have plenty to do so um, but I wanted to get this out there as well let's see if only hazel saying if only there were people who would do f photographs so we could actually get stuff listed that's your problem <laughs> um, yeah what I do is like I will get I will try to take pictures of, like, spend two hours taking pictures, which for me is maybe 20 light items or something like that, sorry. Um, and then just list those until I can't, you know, because I maybe can get five done a day. So The other day I got, like, ten done, which was great because of, I have two kids, <laughs> and I homeschool them, so it's a challenge. And I think they're watching Harry Potter right now, actually. Uh, let's see. I am not listening to Gangsta Rap, but I ju did just watch an interview with 50 Cent, and I didn't realize how funny he was. I didn't know anything about 50 Cent. 
until I watched his interview with Stephen Colbert. And I love a person that can make fun of themselves, okay? I don't like these celebrities that are all like, they're just too cool for school. You gotta take yourself, you can't take yourself so seriously. And I just thought it was hilarious that he doesn't take himself seriously. I love that. Anyway, who knew? I didn't. I probably couldn't name one 50 Cent song, but I like that he was funny. So anyway, <laughs> um, Carl saying make a ton with mugs. Yeah, easy to list, no testing for sure. Um, I guess I need to, I don't think I've shipped that one out yet, actually, that big tall one, or did I? I need to do another mug shipping video because I get a lot of questions about that. So, uh, oh, it just jumped, oh no. Okay, so, oh, Mondo, uh, Rhonda was asking, wait, wait, let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. I'm going to come back to that. Da, 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 da. Oh, dear. Okay. Screeching, screeching, screeching. And I'm getting back to that. My hats, what I've, I get those, um, no, I've lost that one too. I saw that Rhonda asked about the hats and I can't find it now. Um, I get the, the, eBay boxes that are, I think they're eight by eight by eight. Are they? They're like so. They're like square ones, you know. So I'll get those because they're they can go first class. They're not priority. And then I'll put them like in a poly bag, you know, and then put the paper around that and put it in there. Some people will do the whole hat in a poly bag, which you know is fine as well. Depending on the hat, you don't want it to get smooshed or whatever. I had somebody criticizing that about the jewelry. I, I don't know. I put it in a box instead of a, a bubble mailer. I don't know if it was a criticism, but it was just like a, why did you do that? Well, I think it looks nicer, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's not going to cost that much more because first class goes by weight. So it might be a couple ounces more, but it, it's uh, not that bad. So, and it looks better and the presentation is nicer when they get it and all that stuff. So I don't want it to be smooshed. <laughs> My cute little box would have been smooshed in a bubble mailer. Anyway, so <laughs> Lucy says, that's a hot mess. <laughs> it, for me, I just don't like clutter. And honestly, that's not the biggest part here. I want to see big mess. Here we go. I'll let you see my b even bigger mess. This is my giant piles of stuff. That's a table over there full of stuff my kids want to sell. This is all stuff that I've thrifted or garage sale that I haven't shared with y'all yet. But I want to, I'm like, oh, I need to talk to y'all about why I picked that up. So I have it over there. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Bumcrack Picker says, I wish I could see the walls of my room. <laughs> um, yeah. There's, yeah, okay, you saw my garbage. Anyway. Uh, da, 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 I know, yeah. So, Fern says, I have a young stay-at-home mom that would be happy to do a couple hours of work for photos, and they're good. Oh, that's nice. That's a good, that's a good, um, but that's the thing. Like, how do you, I wouldn't know what to pay them, you know? Um, Texas Brenda says, I'd love to know more about mugs, what makes them sellable. <laughs> Dan says, what costs more each month, the electricity or the nails? The electricity. I get my nails done maybe once every three weeks. They need it bad, okay? My nail people know. They need it. I make it stretch until it hurts, okay? Um, I gotta have something for myself, Dan, okay? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, okay, that's not too bad. So, I think that's it. And if you're watching later, thanks for hanging out, and thanks for watching me read the chat and uh, answer questions and stuff. And I hope you guys found something in this. Um, okay, that's not a question for me. Um, something that you found useful in this um, video, something that you could take forward to help you when you're out thrifting or reselling or things like that. Um, so yeah, I hope that this was something that benefited you. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.